Oh, hey, I didn't see you there. I'm Joey Dots, owner of Delaware Scout Micropigmentation. And this is the waiting area when you first come in. So it's the first thing everybody sees. When I first got this unit, it looked like it was 1985. We had wood paneling all across the bottom half of the wall. And I couldn't leave it like that. So we ripped up all the carpet and put down hardwood floor. Nice hardwood floor, looks really good. We ripped out the wood paneling and I hired professionals to install drywall. Next, what I needed to do was I wanted to hang my TV. I wanted to hang the TV and I don't like wires anywhere. So I had an electrician put outlets up high so you don't see any wires. After we got the TV hung, I needed a reception desk. And I would have cut the space smaller if I would have put a reception desk right here. So I decided to use the closet, which is right behind this door, use that as my reception area, my personal office. But how am I gonna have access to it and how are people gonna see me? So what I did was I cut a big square out of the middle of the wall, put a piece of granite right across the top. So we got a nice piece of granite on top acting as a reception desk. Once I cut that square out, I then used old brick paneling that I had from previous projects at my house. And I didn't really like it, so it lasted for about a year. You can see we put black lines all down the center. Instead of seeing the white gap in between, it's black, so it camouflages it a lot better. I didn't like the brick paneling on the wall. So what did I do? I decided to paint the brick paneling black. And then I was going to do shiplap, but I wasn't trying to spend four or $500 on little boxes of pre-made shiplap. So I bought two pieces of four by eight plywood, and then I had Lowe's cut those pieces of plywood into four foot sections, and then I stained it individually. And then I decided, hey, I am going to put each of these pieces on with the nail gun. So you can see me doing this one at a time. So eventually we have this unique pattern of about five different shades. You have the natural wood, you have the darker hazelnut, the lighter, the red tint. And I really like the way it looks in the fields. I wanted a more natural wood look when you first come in here. That's also why I painted the walls green and we added LED lights in. So all in all, I only spent about $100 versus $500 doing this shiplap on the front wall. I trimmed it all out with one by four. Now the granite was probably the most expensive. However, you can save a lot of money by doing things on your own. I'm not a carpenter. I just watch YouTube, see how they did it, and then I did it myself. I'm Joey Dots. I transform people's scouts, but I can also transform spaces in my house and in my office. And so can you if you're willing to learn and try things out. Stay tuned. Woo!